I'm excited to talk to you about one of the most popular wedges in golf. This is our Foki SM9s, and I've got a 60 degree and an M grind, and the 56 and the S. Both these grinds are actually only available in sand wedge and lob wedge. Let's get into it. Starting with the S grind, I really, really like this wedge a lot. This is every man's wedge in my opinion. I think you could put this in the average person's hands, on the average course, and it's gonna work just fine. It's got 10 degrees of bounce, so it's kind of that sweet spot. It's got a teeny bit of relief shaved off the back. It's not gonna dig a bunch, but with that little bit of relief when you're by the green, if you wanna open the face up a little bit, it actually works really well and it will let it slide a little bit more without adding a ton of bounce. Big thing for me too is out of bunkers, this thing's awesome. I got the S grind here, so we're just gonna go to that uh, kind of a tough little shot. The one of the water ball is actually only probably about uh, 15 feet of green and way more to carry. So we'll hit this with a just square face though. Let's see if we can get it there. Go. Yeah, the wedge's fault. That's me. But I mean, feels so good on the turf. You can see there. It's just it doesn't dig. It's got enough bounce. That 10 degrees is kind of that sweet spot. Almost getting it there, a little scared of it. Um, but I mean, it just feels really, really well. I've hit other wedges with like a lot more bounce, um, especially when it's a little bit firm conditions and it's too much, like the club wants to spring up and you kind of hit everything really low, low on the grooves. Um, and I've hit wedges with very little bounce and like you would think they'll dig. It's like kind of scary, like 10, I think this S grind, really will work well for the majority of people. It's kind of a sweet spot, especially in a sandwich. Um, we'll open the face up here just a little bit again. S grind, it's, it's full and it's just got this teeny little bit here recessed off. And it feels really good when you open the face. Because it's, it's, it's still got enough bounce, but not too much. Um, it's just I can't, just a really, in my opinion, this is my favorite grind. I'll just say it. Um, especially for something like a sand wedge that I want to be able to hit some full shots with. So I hit, you know, like a lot of us, you probably hit in a sand wedge three quarters or more fullish than probably a lob wedge. Um, and so like having kind of a more traditional grind um, with 10 degrees of bounce, so you still get a good bit of bounce. It's kind of nice for those full shots. This thing still works really well around the greens. I mean, you can do a lot with it. It's a great bounce. Um, again, just really, really useful. I feel like this is one of those uh, bounce, bounces and grinds that's kind of in the every player category, and I don't think you can really go wrong with it do me a big favor if you could hit that like and subscribe button so we have the m grind here this is also a very very nice grind it's super popular especially in lob wedges for very good reason so one of the things you'll see is the back it's got some relief just like the s grind does but it, furthermore it's got relief where it's shaved off on the toe and most importantly the heel is shaved off so especially in a lob wedge what that means is i can open that face and because it's shaved off here, I haven't added a lot of bounce. So I can slide under the ball a lot easier with this. And I can attest to that because um, it's got eight degrees of bounce, so it doesn't have a lot of bounce already. And when you open the face for a club, traditionally, you're adding more bounce. With this, you're, it doesn't feel like you're adding more bounce. If anything, I almost feel like it plays a little bit less bounce. So you can really slide under the ball when you want to. Um, but just know, like with the M grind with eight degrees of bounce, it, especially if you're playing soft courses like this is gonna dig a little bit more than the s grind this is a really handy club though i like this around the greens a lot um, and that's kind of why i use it so we got the same shot here and i'll hit this with a square face first this like i'll kind of watch it because this will dig more than that s grind will um it's only two degrees of bounce but the grind itself on top of that in my experience does make a bit of a difference It works really well though. This, I mean, this is a very good um, club. I really like it. 
it's nice to have some diversity. I guess I'll say that as well in the bag. So uh, I'll open the face up a little bit, just a little. And it slides under, I mean, I even get close to there, but it slides under so easy. That is one of the nice things. Um, if you are looking for a wedge, especially your lob wedge, which is probably where most people are at, where you really want to be able to kind of Houdini it around the green. Um, and you want to be able to hit, you know, the square face shots, but you also really, you know, you want to be able to open the face and not worry about it, you know, bouncing up and blading a shot like I'm sure we've all done. This is a really good option for you because it really does allow that. Like that, that club just slides under the ball with the heel ground off and the eight degrees of bounce. Like you can just, you can get down after it and you can see the divot and the club here. So, I mean, it will dig, it will dig in. Um, so you kind of want to know that and get used to it because again, when you open it up, because that heel's ground off, you're not adding bounce to it. Okay, so my summary and kind of recommendations. Both of these uh, grinds are exceptional. Um, I know why they're so popular. So starting with the S grind, I feel like that's, it's such a good, balance you can use it on almost anything it fits probably more golfers um, it's very just easy to use on most course conditions most golfers are going to do well with it you can it still has enough bounce when you open it to be able to play it out of bunkers really well it's just very versatile the m grind's a little bit more specific um, it does have less bounce but the way the grind is it, i feel like it plays like it even has less bounce than eight degrees so um, especially when you start opening it because of the heel being ground off you're not going to add a lot of bounce. It's still going to slide under the ball, which is great because if you want that, it's really nice to have. My biggest suggestion, unless you're someone who can just afford to buy a bunch of different wedges and depending on where you're playing, just swap out your wedges. If you can, that's awesome. I'm very jealous. But for me, I just can't do it. So what I try to do is build my bag with a lot of versatility. So that's specifically why I have an S grind in my sand wedge. Again, I hit a lot more like foolish shots with this. So having a more traditional grind is really nice to be able to do that. Plus, I can open the face very comfortably with that back relief. My lob wedge is for around the green. And I, I really do like the fact that, especially in the summer in Arizona, this thing is really, really helpful when the ground's firm. My biggest recommendation is between the S and the M grind, I got both.